Hey everyone. Okay. So this is a super short video just to go over the final paper um, that is due. Oh my gosh, where is it? Um, your syllabus says that it's due Tuesday the 24th, but I'm going to push it to the 25th. I don't know why I made it due on Tuesday. That just seems silly. So yeah. Okay. So Wednesday the 25th by midnight via Canvas is when your final paper will be due. Okay, so this should give you enough time to go over those um, those uh, revisions, suggestions, corrections that I've made to your second drafts. They're all graded. So you guys have essentially like a week. Um, keep in mind though, this Friday you do have your short essay due on the Taming of the Shrew. And you also have a quiz on Friday for the Taming of the Shrew. So anyway. Just keep that all in mind. Um, so I'm just going to share my screen real fast. We're going to go over this rubric and then that'll be it for this video. Okay, so remember that your page requirement is seven to 10 pages. Okay, so that means seven pages of content at minimum. Um, not six pages of content and then page seven is works cited. Your works cited does not count towards your page count. Okay. Um, <clears throat> You, it should be 12 point font times New Roman, double spaced, okay? You need to have appropriate citations. You need to have quotes from all of your sources. Everything that is cited on your work cited page needs to be um, cited throughout the essay itself. So I should be able to match them. So there should not be more or less of each on either. I know that that made some weird sense, but it does, I promise. <laughs> If there are, if I find five sources cited within your paper, I should see five sources on your work cited page. Okay, no more, no less, they, they need to be equal. That's really what I mean. Um, if you have a block quote, make sure that it is formatted properly. Make sure that you have written in third person, not first. Okay, third person, they, them, their, people, persons, watchers, viewers, listeners, society, readers, um, anything that is not you, me, we, our, us, I, okay, those are first and second, we're writing in third. So when it comes to your context, your context means essentially everything that you've written along with all of the quotes. Do you have plenty of quotes to back up what you're saying or not? Now with that, it means, do you analyze your quotes? Do you analyze what you're saying? Are you providing that analysis to me? Your organization, does it flow nicely or do you jump all over the place? Your tone, this is that point of view. This is writing in third person. If you write distinctly in third person, the entire paper, you will easily get right here. Your writing mechanics and citations. Are you citing things properly? Okay, is your work cited page formatted correctly? Is your grammar in check? Are you writing how you speak? You should not be. You should be switching over to academic writing. Okay, um, I think that's about it on this, I'm going to include a quick checklist for you to look through as well um, for you to make sure that your papers kind of fall in line with this rubric. And I think, I think that's it. If you guys have questions about any corrections that I might have made to your second rough draft, please let me know. Send me an email, a smoke signal, whatever it is, I don't care. Um, but just let me know and I will hopefully get back to you, you know, before like Wednesday. Um, anyway, so I will let you guys go. Good luck on your quiz this Friday. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed Taming of the Shrew. I think it's great, but that's just me. So, um, all right, have a good week guys.